All right, welcome back, everyone, to Living World Season 2, Chapter Something, Part 2. Party policies? Oh, party politics. I was reading it on the... on the. I was reading it on the... Uh, on the loading screen, and then the loading screen went away before I could finish actually reading it. Oh, and now I see... Now I see Indy's chat. Cass smear. Someone has accused her of conspiring with Scarlet. The hearing is the same day. Well, Someone's lying. And we have to figure out who. Soon as we know, we can confront that person and get them to recant their statement. We need to talk to everyone, find clues to the truth, and build evidence to defend the queen. Once we discover who among them is the mastermind, we'll take action. Casimir, but be I'm, careful. I'm starting These to think. People are suspicious and suspicious. drama and mystery follows so something you. Something too blunt or off-putting, and they'll clam up. If we're obviously undermining their plans, they'll have us escorted out of the party, and it will all have been for nothing. We have some achievements, two of which are mutually exclusive. And um, one of them... Okay, I know the route for this. <laughs> but for the sake of the first-timers, have fun. <laughs> no, lead up. No, no, have fun. Dang it. It's not my instance. Dang it. Lead on. <laughs> oh, oh. Introducing a hero who needs no introduction. Yay! The commander of the pack. Yay! And accompanying the lit. Uh, <clears throat> yes, uh, Casimir Mead. <sighs> Keep it together, Cas. You can get through this. Be confident, like Jory. Casimir, come over here. Don't look so glum. Care for an order? Hello, dear Casimir. Don't worry your little face over what the Herald's papers say. You'll always be noble in my eyes. Countess Anise. That's direct. Y'all shush. Kind of you I want to hear say. Sam talk more. I'm afraid I don't feel particularly noble. Then we must do something about that. Nobility isn't in the blood, as so many believe. It's in your choices. Your return to grace is viewpoint. only a pardon away. <laughs> if your talent for detecting lies is all you say it is, well, let's just say I'm confident we can convince the Queen your value overrides your father's misfortune. I only hope to be of some small service, Countess. Oh dear. Okay, let's start picking apart everything they say. You know, this guy can hear you, right? Spreading lies about the queen. Don't I've got the target. Yes, the diamond. He knows our plan. I just want to talk to Sam Regal. Sam, hi. <laughs> He's not talking anymore. Okay. Who's Sam Regal? He's in Critical Role. I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't. Can you don't. repeat that? <laughs> Yeah, I don't. I don't. I've never watched or listened to any of Critical Role. He I should do not know who Emmy award-winning Sam Regal is. <laughs> not by name, no. Maybe by other uh, roles, but not by name. He plays Bran. So, do we have he to plays... speak to ministers? I have to talk to somebody. Oh, I don't know that Let's I remembered he was Bram. He does the voice so well, like I actually mm -hmm. lose it. But oh. but his Herald voice is just one hundred percent. Sam being Sam. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> he's great. Um, he's a lot of fun on Critical Role. He also has, when he has it grown out, an incredible beard. He's also actually my least favorite member of the Critical Role. Oh, that's cast. funny. That's funny. Yeah. He's, I know, I think he's probably my favorite. Um, but I, but I admittedly don't watch that much. I just watch clips. Yeah. No, Travis is my favorite. Oh, yeah. Travis is so good. Travis but Laura is Bailey is also incredible. They're all yeah, really Travis good. And Laura, it's kind of like saying, Laura, what's the best brand yeah. of bacon? Okay, they're all bacon. <laughs> That's fair. I, 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 I can't come up with any response for that other than it's bacon, and now I want bacon. <laughs> okay, so okay, what are we doing? Find the lying minister without arousing suspicion. Oh, okay. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Don't be suspicious. Uh, excuse me. <laughs> More wine. I'm looking for the minister. But I thought for certain it was and Minister Wee who attended court. Uh, oh, we did it. Oh, we did it, and I just didn't realize it. Sure? Minister Wee who attended court the day Scarlet. Ooh. Oh. Oh. Mm -hmm. 
Okay. I wish we was having fun now, ministers. They make me so uncomfortable. Especially ministers. You do actually need to talk. Excuse to me. Okay. I oh, oh, oh. I see that now. Okay, all right, talking to this one. <clears throat> I'm rich, you know. I'm rich, you know, he says in a very <laughs> sultry voice. That was uncomfortable. Uh, I have a vague recollection of that crazy Silvari walking into her audience with the queen. This was well before the attack on the city, by the way. I still don't know why I noticed her. I was expecting to see Minister Wee's wife here today. Lady Wee? She, she gets the vapors. Fragile constitution. Poor dear can't keep up with her husband. Apparently neither can I. I thought he was in court the day Scarlet had an audience with the queen. Um... I'm gonna do laugh. If you've seen one minister, you've seen them all. <laughs> oh good, he laughs back. Uh, it's the dour look on all their faces, but seriously. It is rather difficult to confuse Minister Wee with Minister Estelle, or even Minister Arton. My memory just isn't what it used to be. Which one did you confuse with Minister Wee? <laughs> I saw Estelle enter the throne room, along with the goat farmer, Minister Arton, and a Silvari. That, wretched turned, uh, that wretch turned out to be Scarlet. She did. Nice talking to you. I remember hearing afterward that Scarlet... Oh good, we don't each have to do it. No one paid any yeah. attention back then. Scarlet was a nobody until the Queen's Jubilee. Mm. Here, I can get you some. Oh, oh, oh. They left me dancing. Oh. <laughs> Alright, talking to another noble. You do realize, I'm sure, that it's rude to eavesdrop. Were you? No, my lady. I merely wanted to introduce myself. I am Kyle Blaine. Oh, I do beg your pardon. It's a pleasure to meet you. I'm Lady Allison. And my companion here is Lady Brinda. Are you enjoying the party? Some of the guests seem rather tense. I wouldn't think anyone could ignore such a beautiful night as this. Oh, I'm quite sure that some ministers prefer dark nights like this to sunny days. <laughs> oh yes, that's true in my culture as well. The plant culture prefers nights? That doesn't make any sense. Uh, I don't get out much, but I would like to visit where you are from. Tell me, how do you find our fair city? It's glorious, a real accomplishment. She's not lying, but she's being evasive. Try again right and there. press her for more information whenever... Okay, sorry. <clears throat> she's not lying, but she's being evasive. Try again and press her for more information whenever she talks about the ministers. Uh, so, what were you saying about the party? Some of the guests seem rather tense. A particular minister makes you uncomfortable? Minister Catechus, of course. He surrounds himself with intrigue, cloaks, daggers, shadows, all that nasty business. Don't let him look upon you, my dear. Once he has you in his sights, you're doomed. As you said, ministers can be dangerous. Some of the guests seem... Oh, we're just going back for that. Never mind. So we're done. Uh, laugh. Uh-huh. Yep. Uh-huh. Oh, uh, Casimir, did you spot anything out of order? She's not... Okay, so that's the same thing. Okay. We did, we did this. Oh, thank you. There we go. Okay, leave. Are we done? Are we not done? No. I thought nope. I clicked everything. Hey, so Kyle, have you ever played Ace Attorney? No. This is Ace Attorney. Okay. You're like I'm, I'm aware of what it is. Yeah. You're you're basically looking through um, the dialogue and you're looking for the one specific combination line where you can call objection. Gotcha. Okay. So let me. I didn't click this before. I was just clicking this, assuming that symbol meant, hey, this will take you on the quest. And maybe it still does, but I didn't click this before. The pleasure is all mine, and what a fine evening it is. Yeah, no, that, is, that just ends yes, it. Yes, what is it? Uh-huh, uh-huh. I wouldn't... I did that one. I wouldn't think anyone could ignore such a beautiful night as this. Uh, laugh, that's true. Yeah, see, this is... Okay, so I've done this. No, you, you didn't do that. You did the you did the that's true my culture as well, which is a weird response. I did I did that one, but I did this one too. I didn't I? I thought I, I so. I stopped paying attention there for a while. I've maybe I didn't. Maybe right I didn't now. go. Oh, I didn't click the right things to get to this one, but I did click one on this one. Anyways, I hear one minister is spreading rumors about the queen. Yes. Yeah, we did this. Yeah, Minister Catechus is mm. behind it. I understand. Of course. Oh, Colin no, you, yeah, you didn't do that. <sighs> anything that undermines the queen, but he's not the one accusing her. We have to find that person. I don't know what I did different. <laughs> the video will tell. 
I told you. <laughs> I was right. <laughs> Thank you, Karen, for the copper for my dance. <laughs> and look, we are now suspicious. Stop right there. This shrimp fish is like your dad. <laughs> Wouldn't you be suspicious if you had the same exact conversation six times with somebody? <laughs> What's up with this person? Oh, I can. You can. You normally can't go in here without I a, see a special buy your leave. Ambitions. She's been having a I'm somewhere I'm not supposed to be. Minister Codicus. Yeah, if only you could craft in here. Minister Estelle is being pressured by Minister Marula. I actually retire. never got a chance to look at well, this. She would never. She's far too ambitious. <laughs> there we go. What is it? I'm going to get more punch. It's so fruity. Wait, I wanted to ask you something. Only if you make it quick. I'm so excited. Uh, I think that spreading rumors about the queen would prove very exciting. Uh, Two-faced liar, I doubt you truly appreciate the hospitality. Uh, is that why Minister Estelle wants to retire? A lack of excitement? Uh, sure, we'll go with that one. Oh, I just, there was a timer up there. That's not fair. I read slow. Um, undoubtedly, she's like she likes to be in the thick of things, but Catechus has had her doing clerical work lately. She meets with him regularly. From what I've heard, he'll talk her out of retiring, I'm sure. Undoubtedly. Enjoy your enjoy the party. I've never met Minister Estelle. If she's been meeting with Codicus, she may know something. I can take that. Thank you. Alright, what you got, Kashmir? My mind is spinning. So much information. Can you make heads or tails of it? Can we do this not in front of the people? We've learned a few things. First, we know who was in court that day. Yes, a farmer with a goat. Two min this is like the beginning of a really bad Guild Wars 2 joke. Yes, a farmer with a goat, two ministers, Estelle and Artin, and Scarlet walk into a bar. Uh, and we know that Catechus lets others do, the, do his dirty work for him. We've also heard that both Estelle and Artin have seen Catechus lately. It must be one of them. Let's talk to Minister Artin first. I feel like a goth princess peach in this thing. <laughs> up there, up there. I don't, can I jump up here? That, oh, there we go, we can. Excuse me, minister. As I was telling my old friend Catechus the other day, we really must do something about these bandits. They are a hazard. I have reason to believe they're connected to the White Mantle. Did you see Scarlet the day she had an audience with the Queen? I did. There were four of us in the throne room with Queen and Countess Anise. And the guards, of course. It was Scarlet, me, Minister Estelle, and some dirty farmer with a goat. And the Queen spoke to Scarlet. Yes, she was polite as always, but the Countess kept whispering in the Queen's ear. It was making us all nervous. Scarlet wanted permission to study with the engineer that designed the Watch Knights. What did the Queen say? She respectfully declined. Scarlet was the last in line, and the Queen left before there were, could be more uh, discussion. Scarlet tried to say more, but the Queen apologized and hurried out. Anything else? The Silvari Scarlet looked livid. Uh, she stormed out, shoving guards out of her way. She was rather frightening, actually. I imagine that's what Countess Anise saw that made her hustle the queen away. Kaz, does his testimony line up? His description of events perfectly matches what Anise told me. Miss, uh, Minister Arden is telling the truth. He must not be the one. Interesting. Thank you. have convinced me. It looks like Minister Estelle is the one spreading this horrible rumor. Let's keep at it. If we're going to confront her, we'll need serious evidence to back us up. Kaz, why were you talking to nothing? I know for a fact oh, that the Queen right had a private talk with Scarlet. How? Everyone is saying it, so it must be true. Hello. Uh, we were just discussing how horrible it is that the Queen betrayed us all. That's just a bad rumor. A lie. No, it's not. I saw her in Salma District shortly after nightfall. She wore a black woolen cloak with the hood up. The only reason I knew it was her was because I bumped into her and saw her face. Hmm. Mm, this doesn't add up. Listen, just between you and me, I may not be telling the exact truth. 
but they offered me a lot of gold if I'd say I was there. Please, you can't tell anyone. You're going to have to testify. Oh, all right. I'll testify that I was paid to lie, but I'll never say who paid me. I don't betray old friends. Still, I wasn't comfortable lying, but my son is ill. I hope the queen will forgive me. You're doing the right thing. Good observation. I had a feeling cross examination's going to be fun for you. Right <laughs> anyone, much less a Silvari with no political connections. This woman will testify. That bush that Kiram's on looks like a big tooth. Mm. You must be mistaken. My niece knows a guard who heard from a doorman that the queen. Oh, I've said too much. May I take a glass? If you're finished. Oh! I've got the you're, target. You, Kyle Blaine, you're well known in these parts. The queen recently mentioned you were hosting a summit. She'd like very much to attend. Uh, that may be complicated. Oh, I know. Those lies Estelle is spreading. Can you imagine our barefoot queen skulking through the streets at night in disguise? It's laughable. Uh, you don't think she met with Scarlet? I can imagine it. actually she's a mesmer. No, you don't, you don't think she met with Scarlet? In the throne room, yes, but not in the streets. A char emissary visited the queen that night. While the emissaries since left, the guard who was present will testify. Good to know. Thanks. Countess Anise hardly ever lets the queen out of her sight. She and the guard will corroborate the queen's alibi. And one more. Um, also, uh, you might notice that Kanak is here. Care for an order? Kanak? Kanak? Kanak! You seem distracted, Countess. What are you looking for in this crowd? I could lend my eyes and ears to your search. If there's nothing in particular you need me to do, would you mind if I help myself to some of your refreshments? Hmm. Am I really I so that. dull? Well, here's something interesting. Would you like to know how long a severed head remains <laughs> conscious? Great pickup line, Kanak. I suppose not. Do you let me know if you need me to do more than make debutantes and fops uncomfortable. Kanak is great. <laughs> is lying a prerequisite for being in the ministry? It makes me so sad to think that people who run our city, our kingdom, can't get along with each other. Now one of the ministers is spreading lies about the queen. I'll pay for any information you have. I've had some experience with ministers. Not all are bad. Mm, mm, mm. Who do you work for? I beg your pardon? I don't believe that's any of your business. I only ask because I see you here ready to serve. Uh, if there's something you require, I recommend you speak with one of the party servers. I'm preoccupied with other duties. Are you, though? Did right, you let's need try something? again. Fine. I'll, tr I'll, I'll bribe you. I'll pay you for any information you have on the, on the lying minister. That's generous, but I have nothing to say. Okay, great. Okay, we'll do the other one. You seem friendly. I've had some experience with ministers. Not all are bad. Both my wife and I work for ministers. They can be like night and day. My wife works for Minister Estelle. I work for Minister Arton. Uh, do you like your jobs? Most days. My wife has a harder time. Her minister has a gambling problem. If she's winning, she's fine. If she's not, she's dangerous. Would she know where Estelle was the night of the alleged... Oh, excuse me. Alleged meeting? Maybe. Estelle often visits her old friend, Lady Claire, in the evening. Ask my wife if she knows what happened. She's a good woman and won't lie to protect her minister. Thank you. That's another witness who can help us prove the Queen's innocence. Nicely done. Oh, talk to Catherine. What do you think? Do we have enough uh, evidence to discredit her accusations? Plenty. The servant's wife can testify that Estelle met with Lady Claire. Uh, maybe the threat of her testifying will be enough to shut this down. What else? We have multiple witnesses who say the Queen turned down Scarlet's request. I still can't believe Scarlet wanted to study with the Watch Knight Engineer. Thank the gods the Queen turned her down. Though, that might explain Scarlet's anger when she attacked our city. What else? We know Estelle's friend was lying for her. For a pouch of gold, you mean. 
Estelle must have coached Lady Claire. I don't imagine it will be too hard to get her to testify to the lie. I guess they weren't such good friends after all. We're ready to confront Estelle with the evidence. Looks like we've got everything we need. Time to expose Minister that. Estelle for the liar she is. <laughs> Gentlemen, please leave. I see you've been busy socializing with the guests. Mm, you might say that. It is a party. <laughs> Skip the small talk. Hello, Busy Bee. I must admit I'm a bit charmed by how you f uh, fil flit, flit from flower to flower. I know all about you. Listen closely to what Estelle says. Once she's finished, don't be afraid to ask her to repeat what she said. P press her only when you're certain she's lying. Oh, heavens. I have a question. Is it true that you work... <laughs> Indigo. <laughs> I have a... Qu Hold on, I need a screenshot of that. I'm waiting for your animation to do it again. There we go. Oh, perfect, perfect. That's awesome. Uh, listen closely to what Estelle says. Once she's finished, don't be afraid. Okay, yeah, yeah. I have a question. Is it true that you work closely with Lord Catechus? I used to work with Lord Catechus, but now I'm considering retirement. I've started spending most of my time in the ministry library. I hardly ever see him. Tell me more. Admittedly, I occasionally do small tasks for him, but he's still recovering from that awful scandal. He keeps to himself most of the time. Tell me more. Even at parties, Lord Catechus is off doing his own thing, and I'm left to my own devices. I'm just a wallflower, really. Casimir, what do you think? Hmm. She keeps backpedaling. Press her when she lies, and then present your evidence to counter her arguments. Minister Estelle, can you repeat that? I used to work with Lord Catechus, but now that I'm considering retirement, I've started spending most of my time in the minute. Blah, 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 blah. That's not what I heard. Why would I lie about something like that? He's my boss's boss's boss. I don't work directly with him. I met someone who says you see Catechus often. Admittedly, I occasionally do small tasks for him, but he's still recovering from that awful scandal. He keeps to himself most of the time. You attend his garden party, did you not? Uh, oh, yes. I'd nearly forgotten that. There was a large crowd there. I only saw the legate... A uh, minister from across the roses. Uh, I heard there was only a handful of people there. Even at parties, Lord Catechus is off doing his own thing, and I'm left to my own devices. I'm just a wallflower, really. Shy, huh? Oh, yes. I barely spoke with anyone during the entire party. Beautiful garden, though. A witness said you had an aside with Catechus. He talked to you. You nodded. Uh, fine. He and I talked, but you'll never learn the topic of that discussion. And you can't prove it had anything to do with the Queen. I don't have to prove it. I just have to discredit you. Hmm. So perhaps I misspoke. Apologies. I shall revise my statement. Mm-hmm. Reject the Minister's revised statement. What? So what if I work with Lord Catechus? Catechus, it means nothing. It doesn't change the fact that I was there when Scarlet had her audience with the Queen. Did you hear what the Queen discussed with Scarlet? No. They spoke too quietly, like schoolgirl friends whispering uh, so no one else would hear. Tell me more. I must have been lost in my own thoughts while the Queen and Scarlet conspired deviously. Tell me more. I heard the word watch nights. Tell me more. Isn't that bad enough? Do you know how many people died because the Queen gave Scarlet access to the watch nights? Why are you still interrogating me? She's the criminal. Minister Estelle, can you repeat that? Uh, yeah, Minister Stell, can you repeat that? Uh, no wonder they spoke too quietly. Okay, uh, that's, uh, that's a lie. You heard everything. I heard hushed words, but I couldn't make out any of them. The Queen seemed pleased, though. Minister Arton heard everything. His ears must be better than yours. I must have been lost in my own thoughts while the Queen and Scarlet conspired deviously. Uh, I heard the Queen was escorted out for her safety. I can take that. Thanks. You weren't there. You can't possibly know how they behaved. Yeah, there's a lot of hearsay going on. Uh, unless you questioned the goat. I spoke with Artin. His version agrees with the countess's and the goat's. <laughs> yes, well, one person's politeness is another's friendliness. That means nothing. Aren't you the nosy one? If you must know, I'll tell you what really happened. All right, disprove the minister's final statement. Skip the small talk. It doesn't matter what happened to the, in the throne room. 
The Queen arranged to meet Scarlet later that evening. She didn't want any of us to hear them, so she sneaked out. Uh, you're sticking by the claim that they arranged this in the throne room? Absolutely. Their foreheads were practically touching. They were so chummy. They agreed to something, and what else could it be? Tell me more. Objection hearsay? Yeah. So it was brief. A look, a smile. Something they'd already arranged to meet later. I don't know. All I know is that I saw them under that bridge. It was the Queen and Scarlet. I'm not the only one who saw her. There was another witness who came forward, a noble woman. Why are you working so hard to protect Queen Jenna? She sold us all out, and now she's trying. She's just trying to cover her tracks. It was definitely Jenna in a red cape. Can you repeat that? Absolutely. Their foreheads were practically touching. Uh-huh. You're crazy. A niece would never let Scarlet get that close to the queen. Oh, yes. She was in on it, too. All smiles and pet this and pet that. Minister Arton describes a very different atmosphere. So it was brief. A look. A smile. Maybe they'd already arranged to meet later. I don't know. All that I know is that I saw them under the bridge. Okay. Impossible. What time did you see them? Oh, the audacity. Where are your manners? And Not. we got thrown Please out. These scandal mongers <laughs> to the gates. Oh no. This isn't what was supposed to happen. <laughs> Did I push too hard? <laughs> oh, that's disorienting. My goodness, what just happened? It felt like a mesmer spell. I think Anise created a diversion for us. Let's get back into the party. Let's go. <laughs> I've got the target. Huh. Oh, no. no Avoid anything remotely. Oh, I thought maybe you don't know from the cat. I'm back. With with my friends. In tow. Is this a party or a circus? <laughs> All right. It doesn't matter what happened in the throne room. Queen arranged to meet with Scarlet that evening. Okay, you're sticking by the claim that they arranged this in their throne in the throne room. All right, tell me more. 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 <laughs> so here's a question: Is letting the timer go out like an option, or is that literally like getting kicked out? Uh, I would not let the timer run out. Okay, Casimir, what do you think? That's the one thing I haven't clicked on. You've been whispering this whole time. I won't have it. It's rude. Seriously. All right. If you would uh, please repeat your statement then. Uh, absolutely. Their foreheads were touching. Uh, uh, they were being chummy. You're crazy. Anise would never let... Tell, no, me, tell more. me more. Yeah, let's do tell me more. I was, well, I was too busy reading the top one to get to tell me more yet. Uh, so it was brief. A look, a smile. Okay, tell me more. I'm not the only one who saw her. There was another witness who came forward, a noblewoman. Okay, tell me more. Okay, now Casimir, tell me something. No, no, or no. Actually, no, no repeat no. that. Repeat. Yes, no, no. repeat, or are you told. You have a new option here. What? Cape. Your top option's different now. Oh, it is option. Yeah. Oh, you told your the accomplice to say now. it was a black cape. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, it was a red cape, I think. Have you forgotten? You're trying to confuse me. It was a red cape. I'm sure of it. Dark red. If you and your old friend can't agree on the color of the queen's cape. Wait, I remember now. The queen was in a black cape. Yes, Countess Anise was in a red one. Did I forget to mention they were both there? Uh, you know, the Countess wouldn't let the queen go anywhere alone. You're saying Countess Anise was there too? What? Clearly, we need to discuss this further, further Kyle Blaine. Good idea. This way. This way. Oh, now we're going to go do something in secret. Okay. I think we're done here. We have to eliminate any doubt at all. If there's even the smallest chance that Estelle is telling the truth. Right. We have to go into the queen's wardrobe and see if she has a black or a red cape. <laughs> She's not. But we need to hear Anise say she wasn't under that bridge. Uh, I'm sure I'd have sensed it. Uh, I'd, I'm sure I would have sensed if this were some kind of mesmer cover up. Don't you think? It doesn't matter. I'll know if the countess is lying when we ask her. Let's go. You know, as silly as it may be to make such a fuss over a discrepancy in the color of a cape, was it black or was it red? People actually do oh, argue over stop. those details. Oh, yeah. Don't approach like, 
in actual um, interrogations right. and um, and in uh, testimony. Any any little yeah. thing to yeah. like put doubt. A anything to call into credibility the uh, call into the, the matter of the witness's credibility. Enjoy the party, please. Feel free to mingle and introduce. Oh, I thought I was talking to you. Am I not talking to you? Oh. It says speak with Anise. This is Anise right here. Okay. Well, we got here then. <laughs> Sorry. I was, uh, I was talking over Anise. Oh, no, no, no. You're good. I was trying to talk to Anise and then it stopped My me. apologies for the deception. Oh. But I must go to unconventional lengths to oh. protect Krita. Countess, Minister Estelle is claiming that you were there at this secret meeting. She's implicating you. Nonsense. I was at no such meeting. I did, however, receive a mysterious <gasps> message. What? Signed only with There's two Countess Anises? The note said that Estelle was an abandoned gambler. It said that that was a, was um, a decoy. Illusion. Yeah. Reminding her of this will be enough to make her drop her lie. Faster than Farron's dignity. That's really funny. And now we run back over. <laughs> This is kind of like playing Star Wars The Old Republic, except I'm walking 30 seconds tops between things, not five minutes. You again? I hope you're not planning another interrogation. Not even 30 this seconds. This is a party, if you haven't noticed. What? I imagine Countess Anise had a lie to cover up her presence at the bridge. It's her word against mine. Actually, Minister, it's several people's words against yours. What are you talking about? Has someone said they'd testify against me? We have witnesses who will support Countess Anissa's story. Traitors to the ministry. Traitors! They'll find themselves in the streets soon. I doubt it. The queen has positions for those who are honest and honorable. There are those of us who would uh, who see through the ministry's lies, and our numbers are growing. Jory would approve, eh, Cass? Goodbye, minister. I'll have you know I'm very well connected, and I... Your connections can't help with this. We know what you've been up to. What, what do you mean? We know you couldn't have witnessed this supposed meeting with Scarlet. We hear you were busy meeting with some lobbyists that day. Lobbyists? What are you talking about? So much for subtlety. You were busy gambling with some ruffians. Keep your voice down. That's a baseless accusation. Is that so, Mr. Estelle? Perhaps you and I should speak privately and sort this little mess out. Please follow my guards. I'll be with you shortly. Care for an hors d'oeuvre? Countess Anise, thank you for inviting us to your party. It's been an entertaining and productive evening. No one is more delighted by your presence than I. I can With take all that, that socializing and skullduggery, you must be craving the longest of naps. Now that this messy affair is out of the way, I feel fairly certain Queen Jenna will attend your summit. I think Minister Estelle will soon see the value in cooperating with me, rather than rotting in prison for treason. I may have use for her. On a separate note, I do hope you will stay and join the Queen's entourage, Casimir. You mean travel with the Queen to the summit? I'd be honored. Yes, I think that's the right play. You will, of course, have time to relay the full details of your father's story at that time. Oh, I, I don't think the Queen would be interested in... Nonsense. Now go. Say pretty things to my guests and enjoy yourselves for the rest of the evening. You must visit Those more often. What'd you say? I said those two statements are mutually exclusive. Uh, yeah. You must visit more often. The party wouldn't have been nearly as much fun without you. The queen sends her gratitude as well. She uh, she can now attend your summit. I'll be there as well, though incognito. That's wonderful news. I appreciate your support, Countess. If you have no objections, I believe I will keep dear Casimir with me for a while. We have much to talk about, don't we, pet? Uh, one last question. If you knew Estelle was guilty, why not just out her? Put simply, I was too close to the Queen for my claims to be believable without support. I'd lose much of our dear, uh, I'd lose much if our dear, uh, Jenna was incarcerated and the ministers know it. That's where you came in. I understand. Well, I won't keep you any longer. Goodbye. Ah, uh, it was nothing. Whoa, that's a lot of lockpicks I just got. All right, any, anything else in here before I log out? Not log out, but exit. Uh, no, I think that covers everything. 
Um, ah, there you are, Countess. I trust I played my part in your charade this evening. Except for Kanaga. <laughs> there, there, Blossom. You did very well as the sore green thumb at my affair. I'm sure everyone was far too intimidated by your glowering menace to notice it was an illusion standing beside you the whole time. Yes, I thought you seemed rather vapid. Blossom. <laughs> Kanak is the best. All right, check your mail for Waypoint News. <laughs> Welcome to Waypoint News. Can't read it. There we go. Uh, hi, I have good, good and bad news. I'd ask which you want first, but, you know, it's mail. So, so I choose good news first. As you may have noticed, my WRD, Waypoint Recalibration Device. Oh, it, I hadn't even seen who this was from, but, from, but I immediately know who it's from now. Uh, worked like a champion. I have been monitoring the Waypoint network, and as the workers repair the Waypoints, the vines aren't attacking again. So, did I mention I'm a genius? Now for the bad news. It's Flunt. No surprise there, huh? He insists that I give him a special demonstration of how the WRD works. Uh, it's as if he doesn't believe that my device is actually causing the change. I'm afraid he's going to try to weasel out of coming to the summit. Can you come by my back? Uh, come be my backup. We may have to beat him up or something. <laughs> Dang it, Timey! That was funny. All right. Well, we will go talk with Timey next time. Thank you as always for hanging out and watching. We will see you guys then. Adios. Goodbye.